Do you have a student in need of assistive technology in order to interact with course materials? Do you know all the technologies that are available? Well, today I'm going to demonstrate Trello, which is a board where I maintain quite a bit of assistive technologies to be considered for use with students and how to find it on Google. So I have my Google search engine up and I'll start by typing in Trello and accessible technology. And the very first link that comes up will be the Trello board. And so you can see here that there's a whole bunch of columns here with um, what looks like headers. So I have the very first ones, templates for admins, e-reader apps, e-text distribution, or cloud as well as note-taking apps, organization apps, and if you go to the right, you'll notice that there's all sorts of different columns for you to interact in. So within the columns, you'll see these little boxes, or what's known as cards. And each one of these cards has little colors on them. So the colors indicate what operating systems that they work on. So the more colors that are on a card, the more likely it will work on different types of technologies or devices. So for instance, we're going to go underneath the cloud apps and we're going to click on box. And you'll see that each one of these colored labels has a name of an operating system found within it. Underneath that, you'll find headers of the website of where all the different links are for the different areas. Description, so what the files um, service does, as the different types of uh, accounts that you can get. And a video link, so some intros, if I could find them, I included them in here. So if you hit um, the intro, you will find out a little Consolidate bit. Consolidates your content online in a single easy. So you can also come down and make comments, but that's only after you've actually signed in. So if you want to subscribe, vote, or comment on any of these cards, feel free to sign up. It is free to do so. And you can also sign in if you go to login with just your Google account. So let me go in here. going to ask you it would like to view your email address as well as view your basic profile if you want to know more information click on the I and if you agree to the terms you can hit allow if you hit deny it's going to kick you back out and you won't be able to sync it with your account but after you hit allow create a new Trello account and now I'll have access to this board so now I can go in so as you can see I can click on different areas I can vote I can subscribe or I can type in comments and send so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me you'd come to the very end of one of these columns where you'll find that there's a discussion area where you can write a little bit more information or maybe provide suggestions that we can add to the list. I'm listed on each one of these so any kind of comments should notify me when um, new submissions are made. Alright, I hope to see you online.